Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a train with me video and it is going to be with me. I understand Alex is super fun and cool and his video was legit. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. But you guys are gonna be with me today and we're gonna run through a session um, and go through what I'm training. So today we have a neurological training on the docket, which is strength-based training. And I also have some cluster sets. So when it comes to neurological training, it is gonna be something that you have a little bit longer rest periods, which is really nice, I love it. And you have a shorter amount of reps, so you're not gonna be in the like eight, 10, 12, unless you are a very beginner. It is going to change based on your training age, but it is something that for myself, neurological training is gonna be in that three to six rep range. And then for sets, they can vary. Again, that three to six um, is normally where things are at. But cluster sets, also known as rest pause sets, are mean is the best way to put them. <laughs> but you basically, it is um, like, it's denoted, it's like five, five, five. So instead of doing like a set of five, what I would do is I do a set of five, I wait 15 seconds, do another set of five, wait 15 seconds, do another set of five, and that counts as one set. So it's clustered all together. It is very difficult. You do have to go down in weight compared to other neurological like exercises. So for example, when I did my last leg session, uh, I had hip thrust. I think I have them again today. I need to double check that. And for a neuro phase, if I was doing three sets of five, I could do two plus plates on the Smith machine on each side for it. But with the cluster sets, I can definitely only do one plate and a quarter and I am fried. So we're gonna get into some leg training today and I'll kind of talk through different things that we're doing as well as where we are within my competition season if you are following along with that and just wanting to have some information on what we're doing. I'm writing my training out right now and we will have a video coming out on training logs where I kind of go in depth on this, but just a little cliff notes. I go ahead and put what the data is so I can always look back what the training is. So I got lower neuro cluster. My handwriting's always chicken scratch on these because I'm just, you know, getting it out there. But um, I write down I had meal one um, and I had some rice cakes and it is refeed day two. So I did have a refeed yesterday. It was phenomenal. Um, and I had cardio this morning and then I'm training at 1.30 p.m. So this just gives me a little bit of insight. If I have something pop up, I'll make a note of it. So for example, literally the last day I trained, so two days ago, I put hot AF. It was so hot outside and that can definitely affect how you are training. Or I will say food was lowered this day. Or even I said day didn't start how I wanted, need to turn it around. So I kind of know where my headspace is at. I can't have an expectation that a training session is going to be the best training session ever if there are 17 variables against me and I understand that. Could I still have the best session ever? Of course I could because anything could happen. But I have to be realistic within different expectations. So this, if you don't have a training log, use one. I promise you, you will progress in any training that you feel like you've been plateauing in. Now this is a good size space, but at the same time, we have crammed a lot of equipment in here. So we have to be careful, but it is the simple joys like this already being out of the bar rack because this trap bar specifically from Prime Fitness, which is the best, weighs more than a normal trap bar, which fun fact, I didn't know the first time I deadlifted with it. And I was like, man, this feels so heavy at, I thought it was like 135, turns out it was 185 or something like that. Quick math ain't my thing right now. Prime example of sometimes you're a lot stronger than you think of I ended up hitting 225 that day, which was a PR I had been trying to get. And I was upset with myself because I thought it was less weight because I didn't know the bar weight a certain weight. And then later on found out and I was like, oh my gosh, I hit a PR that day. And I was sitting here mentally being like, I can't even lift up 185. Um, so. Very happy with the prime trap bar, but we're gonna start off with some deadlifts. I like to get as much set up beforehand as I can. I know that if you're at a commercial gym, you don't always have that privilege, but since I do, I am going to take advantage of it. Always make 
makes me feel like I'm vacuuming when I'm trying to get this in the right spot. Very technical way to do all of this, guys. I haven't even warmed up. I'm all over the place. What am I doing? So I normally don't do a ton of specific warm-up exercises. I use my exercises that I'm doing in the training as my warm-up for a lot of the things. So instead of doing a whole warm-up routine, you saw I just did like three or four things super quickly. I will just make sure I warm up well within the exercises that I'm doing. And it is something that your training should make you mobile. If you feel achy breaky from your training, you need to either take better care of yourself, look at your nutrition, or look at your training of it not making you mobile and really just jamming things up. But within this deadlifting, we are going to be biasing glutes here. Um, even though it is a deadlift, if I had a barbell, I couldn't choose which I bias because like your shins are in the way. But with the trap bar, you can choose how you bias if it's gonna be hip dominant or quad dominant. If you haven't checked out our barbell back squat video, then that video goes over how to set yourself up um, in a back squat, and it's very similar in the trap bar deadlift. I know that sounds crazy, but I feel warmed up, and especially with how much cardio and movement and stretching that I'm doing throughout a day and with just the culmination of prep, I feel pretty ready to go like all the time. So we're gonna go. So again, just making little notes here um, of like, this felt easier than last time that I did it and my core feels better because last time I had this training session, I wasn't having a good day. I very much so remember that. And I felt like my core was so fatigued because I'd done so much posing the two days before, had a hard session that my core was really engaged in. And then I also just was tired from prep and I couldn't get this movement down. So this feels so much better. That's another example. If I would have just looked at those notes and been like, I didn't improve this week. It was circumstantial. This week I'm back at it, getting it done and getting after it. So I'm gonna brag on this prime trap bar because the way that they have this set up, so you can roll it over and go like this. So with the 45s, it doesn't hit the ground because honestly half the workout if you have a barbell or if you're setting up hip thrust or deadlifts is freaking getting the weight on the bar and off the bar so i will give you a pro tip if you do have just a um, normal barbell one second okay pretend with me for a second that this is just your normal barbell on the ground and you're like how the freaking bob do i get this off because then you're in the gym looking like a fool, just like trying to do all this. It's a whole thing. So grab a 2.5 or a five. I like the five, gives me some extra space. Put it under the plate, roll it on, and you'll be able to load off everything except for that last plate. Um, so if you have multiple plates on here, you'll be in a solid spot. Um, of getting them all off and then the last ones are a little bit easier um, and it's also something where like for pretend sake this bar is going to be a little bit different than if you just did have that barbell but it could be something of being able to prop up the barbell a little bit and pull those off but i always used to roll this up and then load off everything but the last one and go from there so i wasn't trying to shuffle them on the ground so just a little pro tip
All right, who else like hypes themselves up or like cusses themselves out when they're lifting? Like a lot of times, especially if I'm alone, I'm like, come on you little bitch, like get after it. But some people don't respond to that. So let me know below and also what music you listen to. So drop me your favorite training song so I can squat out. Let's go. That's how you hit a PR, even in prep, baby. And it's okay to make noise in the gym. You pay to be there. I don't pay to be here, but you pay to be there. So that was my just warm up set. Make sure that the positioning is all good to go and that I feel good with the movement. And just again, I normally use one warm up set and then depending on where it is in the session. But another great thing that you can use your training journal for is knowing different notches or setup things that are helpful. So for example, if I'm using the cables, we have a functional trainer and the prime prodigy rack and both have cables on them and I'll always notate if it's the PP, Prime Prodigy, or if it's the FT, the Functional Trainer, so that I know when I'm looking at weights, because there is a variance um, between those, especially because one's four to one and two to one, and there's a whole thing. Uh, but it is something that just allows me to know. And then I'll say the settings of, hey, this is on F2 for the Functional Trainer, or this is on the Notch 14, so that I'm not wasting time trying to set something up. And for this, for example, I know that this lines up with this. Very technical, like I said, all very technical over here. This lines up with this, but I was a little bit off in my vacuum maneuver of the prime bench. So reset it and we're all set. And then of course a hip thrust pad. This is necessity. I think this company is out of business, but I think Rogue has this or bought it from them. So check that one out because this is a great thing to have in your gym bag. And let's get into some cluster sets, guys. Buckle up. Thank 
goodness, we only have two sets of those. If you have questions on any of these exercises, I'll make sure in the description box that every exercise that I'm doing, if we have a video on it, I'll have that link down below. So you can really see the execution, what muscle it's targeting, and learn even more. But I will give you a little tidbit, of course, on some of these. So using some prime stuff again within these wedges, and I'm doing a quad bias split squat. And the reason that the wedge is really helpful here is if I am trying to get my knee past my ankle, which is going to make something a little bit more quad biased, then it is gonna be something that if I'm standing here without the wedge, if I were to do that and push forward, there gets to a point where I shortcut myself within my full range of motion, which you'll see here in a second, because my heel will start to lift at one point. And obviously you don't want half your foot off the ground. That's gonna be a very, less than ideal, unstable environment. So the more stable we can make it, the more output you can have, the better the movement can get. So you saw how, I, how far I could go down here of just to here before my ankle lifted. And then with the heel wedge, then being able to come all the way, my knee touching the ground, and still have my full foot in contact with the ground. Have you heard? No, what is it? Physique Development hit 10K on YouTube and they're doing a massive giveaway. Oh my gosh, what are they giving away? Let me tell you about it. To thank you guys for 10K, we are giving 10 lucky winners one of these prizes, which is over $1,000 in prize value. And we are so excited to be able to give this away to 10 of you. All right, all right. Let's tell the people what they can win. All right, so if you've watched our videos, you know that we love Prime Fitness. So we are giving away a set of rotate handles. You can choose between the rotate or the cast handles to one lucky winner. Another lucky winner is going to win these Prime wedges and you can choose the 10, 20, or 30 degrees. And a third Prime winner is gonna win a $100 gift card so that you can spend it on whatever you would like at Prime. To wrap up that, we're headed into Legion, which you know we love Legion as well. So one winner will get five products from Legion. And you can choose what you would like, whether you'd like to get a stack of some of our favorite products like the fish oil and recharge and protein and pre-workout. Or you could choose to just get five containers of the cereal protein because it's the best. It's up to you. You're the winner here. So outside of the Legion and Prime, oh. we are also giving away <laughs> two gift cards to Story, which ooh, ooh. you know I'm all decked out in it. So give them a give them a twirl. Show them this sports brawl. Awesome. Which one is this one? I'm bad with me. She don't know. What are these leggings? Icon. Icon leggings. You need a pair. Look at the booty. Give her the booty. Give them the booty. Give her the booty. Yeah, look at that. Woo! I don't think my booty's in the shot. I wish mine looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> Two lucky winners will win $100 gift cards to Story to get yourself some swag. <laughs> yeah. Some swag. Stuff we all get. <laughs> uh, the next set of lucky winners will also get gift cards to another company that we stand behind, and that is going to be Revive MD. So you can get any of these products with the gift card, and you can also ask us for recommendations if you want it for Legion or for Prime. Anything that's a gift card, ask us for a recommendation. But two winners will win $100 gift cards to Revive. Favorite Revive products, the turmeric? The omega threes, the oh gosh, the third one. I don't, I don't want to cut anything out. The immune multi, love the immune multi. Could go daily greens. Could also go fiber. Could do a couple of different things. Love their products. We of course couldn't do a giveaway without giving away some PD swag. So two lucky winners will win a PD band tee in design two. This is the champion design, and you will also win a shaker bottle, PD shaker bottle. So. Uh, this will be for two winners. We'll win both of that. So that's 10 total winners for 10K. Those prizes sound awesome. How do I enter? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. 
It's pretty simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to our channel, throw us a good old thumbs up on this video, and comment below. It can be anything, a reason why you love PD, what PD has brought into your life, or it can be as simple as I want to win and tell us what product you want to win. And if you wanna get an extra entry, you do have to do an extra step, but you get extra entries. If you share the link for this video on your Instagram story and tag the Physique Development Instagram, it only counts if you tag the Physique Development Instagram, and we will add all of you guys in for an extra entry. But thank you for 10K. We can't wait to keep creating content, creating Creating videos and helping you guys train, educate, and empower. We need to get a selfie later in the mirror because you're wearing story. Alex has a full story fit on. I have a full story fit on. Fit all story from the new launch. These are the Icon shorts, the four inch. And this is a tank top that I don't remember the name. I only remember the Icon because literally the day that these came out, I heard a song or like a reel with the name Icon in it. It was like, you can't spell Icon without I. And then it got stuck in my head. So I only know the name of one thing from the launch, but everything I've got, Miguel is decked out behind the camera. Alex is decked out in story today. So big fans of the new men's line. And of course the women's line. I will tell you a little bit of what I'm continue to write just because I think it'll be really helpful for you to have these different tips. I went ahead and wrote, wrote for the hip thrust, um, felt very good, worked on my right leg um, recruitment because we're seeing within my posing that my left glute is like shining through a little bit more than the right glute. So making sure that I'm really focusing on having the same recruitment in both legs. And then I put for the split squat of the last time I did them, I had um, 20, I started with 25 pounds and I had wrote in my notes, start heavier. So that was super easy that I didn't have to do the 20s and be like, oh, that didn't count as a set. I knew I needed to start heavier. So started with 30s and then I put felt strong slash easy, go straight for 40s. I literally do have pecs now. No boob tissue left. No fat left. Fat free. I'm like my favorite turkey. 99% fat free. Do, do bodybuilding poses sometimes. After this, all we have is lying leg curls, leg extensions, and calves. Go. (sighs) 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 (sighs)
One more cluster set, the lying leg curls. Then calf raises and leg extension. Originally this session was calf raises and ab crunches. That sounds a lot more appealing right this second. But Alex switched it out, so we're gonna do it. And sometimes you just have to do things you don't wanna do to get better, point blank. And I'm reminded every time I do hip thrusts, I don't like hip thrusts, but it speaks for itself, it really does. You guys probably didn't think you're gonna hear those sounds out of me today, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh. And you realize in between sets, I J chill. That's why I'm talking so much, but you don't wanna use your rest periods to jump around, burn calories, do burpees. Use your rest periods to rest because especially for PD, the way that we program is we program with the total volume already allocated and set up for you specifically. So if you're adding in extra stuff, that not only is gonna throw off what we have in place for nutrition, that's gonna throw off how you feel when you're training, what you're able to actually do. If I was doing burpees in between these rest periods, first, you'd probably see something else you did not want to see come out of me, but it is, <laughs> I really don't know what I would do if I had to do a ton of burpees right this second with how I'm feeling. Anyway, it is something that it throws off what your soreness is gonna be, how much you're able to do the training. And what I was saying for myself, I wouldn't be able to hit the numbers that I'm supposed to or have the intended focus of this training stimuli. The focus is strength-based work, not trying to get better um, endurance or cardiovascular endurance or health. It is to work on strength work. So if I add in those different things, just because I have longer rest periods, that is not gonna be beneficial to the end goal. So if it is something that you are wanting to work on endurance, being able to share that with your coach or listening to our podcast, we have a whole series on Training 101 to learn a little bit more of the ins and outs and how we set it up so that our clients have all the success that they do have. And you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and plug it. If you wanna hire the last coach that you'll ever need, let us know and inquire below. We'd love to get on a call with you and set something up. New gym passion, in case you didn't know. I actually think they do sell shorts like this, and it's for when you have like a slit in your dress. Um, so I'm behind the eight ball. I'm not a trendsetter, actually. Alex says I'm a trendsetter with this length of sock, though. He said I just decided to set a trend with this length of sock. But here's my issue. The higher up socks first leave indentations all on my leg. And then if I take them off at any point, it just looks silly. The other thing is, is that since it's leaving indentations, they're like a little bit too snug. 
and I don't feel as comfortable in them, but I like wearing socks most of the day because I'm cold, and these are the perfect in-between because I also feel like my calves are not developed enough that if I wear low socks, I look too much like a peg leg. Now, that is definitely my own perception, but it's what we're rolling with, so these are a vibe for the length of sock. Second, let me just make these notes so then I can exit out of this. Exit out. See, tabs open in my head. That's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on my leg session and I hope that you liked the middle of the video too um, and you got to see some of those products used throughout this video. But we are so thankful for all of your support through all of the things that we do within the podcast, Instagram, TikTok, coaching, merchandise, YouTube, everything. We appreciate it so much. I hope that you learned some little tidbits within this session. And we're also able to realize that you're allowed to take up space in the gym. Obviously, don't be an asshole. That is words to live by. Don't eat like an asshole. Don't be an asshole. But you're allowed to take up space in the gym. You're allowed to make noise even if you're a girl. You're also allowed to be strong AF and it is something that you should probably have a training journal. Uh, and last piece of advice, I'm not sure. I just hope you had fun with me and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you guys so much.